Hi guys, Tyler here with Explore Scientific. Today we're going to talk about and go over our two room pop-up observatory tent. And if you hang out, and we're going to go over some specifications of what's included with this two-man pop-up tent, along with what's it made out of, what can you use it as far as applications for, and watch me set it up one-handed. That's right, I said one-handed. Hopefully I can do this. I had a lot of practice, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. I'm going to set it up one-handed. Wish me luck. <clears throat> oh. There's that. I'll pull it back a little bit. There's the middle. Nope, 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 don't do it. Ta-da! Hang on, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. One-handed. Ish. Now, we do know that we can get it up one-handed. Now, if you unfortunately need help, don't, don't hurt to call your buddy or anything else. Let me kick this over a little bit for you. Let me get everything all nice and view. <clears throat> now what this comes with, let me try a little more here. Let me just, there. Now, what this initially comes with, it is again, a two, or two room pop-up tent. You have the initial observatory portion of the tent. Now what the observatory tent can be used for is, say you want to put a computer in here, because you have two open doors, and I'll, I'll do those here in a second. Uh, you can put a table in here with a computer, with a chair, and or a red light, just depending on what you want. We have a nice, beautiful logo right here in front, so you know where you bought it from. Now, as far as the doors, they're all double-sided, double-sided zippers inside and out, so you can have easy access. And another beautiful part is you can roll it up. and tie it from the other side as well, so it can get out of your way. But what's great mainly about this two-man pop-up observatory tent is you have the capability of using this in the wind because it is wind resistant. It is also I didn't want to stay, let's try it again. Rainproof, which is a wonderful factor in, the, in any astronomy community, is you always wonder when you set up for any type of astrophotography, visual, or anything for outreach, you wonder about the weather and how will the weather dictate and what you can do. But with this beautiful product by Explorer Scientific, you have the capability of setting up and not having to worry about any weather, shape or form. Unless it's a massive hurricane, then I, I wouldn't advise using it. Dagneb it. But you do have to make sure you roll this up kind of tightly. And there's two pull strings on each side. You're gonna get my back, I do apologize. Let me just reach around here and grab it. And then you can just simply tie a little, I'm just gonna do a single knot, and I don't need to do crazy. Reach in here on the other side of the door, grab the other drawstring, and pull this. <clears throat> Tie it as well. Now, we have both doors open. I'll move it around a little bit so you can see where the doors are located on this design. What this is made out of is a 100% blackout nylon. And what I mean by 100% blackout nylon, I can literally put a flashlight on this side you will not see any stray or anything on the other. So it's great and perfect for either your astrophotography in your neighborhood, local park, or any outreach community that you have. It will block out a lot of light pollution. And the next benefit is that it's six feet tall. 
That's right, six feet tall. It's almost tall as me. I'm 6'2 on a good day. Just depends. But it's a five by five square. The next great thing is the other room for your mount and telescope so you can do either your astrophotography and or visual observing. Same basic principle comes out. I know I was I didn't do this one handed and I do apologize. <clears throat> and that's set up. Now with our pop-up two-man two-room observatory tent is there's Velcro on <clears throat> this side as well, as well as on the other side, and Velcro here and Velcro here to attach it. And we'll get to that on how it's used when I want to put my mount in here. Just hang on, I gotta, there we go. I'm gonna kick this out a little bit so y'all can get a nice good view so I can attach it to the Velcro. We got that side. Now I'm going to go to this side. Wait a minute, I got to put my telescope in here. I completely forgot. Silly me. So, what you can do, you don't have to do it this way, but you can open it up to where you can get whatever. I mean, it's a five by five square. You can get a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, you can actually double it up. That's right, you heard me correct. You can double it up and make it a 10 by 10 room. If you have another, fellow astrophotographer or visual observer that bought one just like you, you can actually double them up and put one room, that's a two-man entryway on one side, and double up the actual dividers together and create a massive 10 by 10 room. You know how many telescopes you can put in a 10 by 10 room? It's crazy. It's a lot of stuff. But yes, we did try it and pictures will be uploaded to show you that it can be done. Got it right here. Now I can show you what to do. So as you know, you can fold these, but we're going to fold it this way so I have ease access or easy access to get the mount in for my observatory night. <clears throat> so I'm going to face it towards you because where I'm pointing, that's north. And then we just simply come around this way and close it up. That's it. With that simple ease of use, one man can do it. Is it beneficial to have more than one? Sure, always is, but every once in a while when you want to go to a dark site, your buddy can't come with you. So you got to be able to do it by yourself if need be. Now, some key points on this is it does come with a tarp. The tarp does go over the whole tent if you need to protect for weather, inclement weather, um, dust shower, rain shower, or possible wind. It can go across the whole tent, but I would recommend throwing it over the observatory side. That way, you can block out any stray light. You can hang a little red light somewhere, whichever how way you want to do it, so you can see your computer screen and not be blinded by that. And you can shut the inside door so that can be completely blocked off from any type of stray light from a possible computer screen. It does have anchor points down at the bottom and each corner is an anchor point that comes with anchors. That's right, this will come with a complete set of anchors and rope for guideline to make sure it's a nice taut observatory pop-up tent. So that's what helps with either the wind and possibly, more, more or less, it just helps with wind. It keeps it from shifting back and forth, but it has enough give that it won't go crazy like an actual tent does. I would also recommend just to save the actual bottom end of your wonderful pop-up two-man observa two-room observatory tent is either put uh, astral turf at the bottom or some type of carpet felt, just so it has something to grab a hold of <clears throat> when you are setting it up. Uh, if you're going to use the grass, it's okay. You can use the tarp. Tarp's perfectly fine. They're cheap and affordable. AstroTurf's better. Uh, you won't have as much flexure. Carpet's also good. That way it has, you keep your feet warm at night. <laughs> but
But now, the wonderful part is, let's say I'm done observing. I'm done with the astrophotography, I'm closing up shop. Now I get to take it all apart. And I'm going to try to use one arm again. I'm definitely going to fold it up with one arm for sure. So here we go. And, um, don't mind me, I'm going to take off my neck gaiter because it's rather warm with it. So, I'm going to literally undo the Velcro here. Fold it. Goes that way. I get my mount out of the way. <clears throat> undo this side. And that folds that way. We'll get to folding here in a second. I'm going to save that for last. We're going to drop our doors all the way. There and there. Then we'll just zip it up. Now the fun part, now we get to put it away. Or, if you wanted to, you can leave it up for the night. It is perfectly, I would say it's perfectly fine to use, depending on the weather conditions of what you're having throughout the night, you can leave it alone and let um, any type of software control it from this point and not have to worry about anything, because if you use the cover, every equipment that you have, computer-wise, will be covered out of dew and any type of moisture getting in. And I gotta post it on the bottom of my foot because of previous shows before me. So now, what's a good way to fold this up, you ask? So I always grab a corner here, and I literally will just pick it straight up. Let it fall. Then I will grab another corner and fold it over. I'm still doing this with one arm. I'll come back here so you all can get a nice view. So, now I got it to this point. With one arm or two, you literally, so if you're doing, I'll do one with one arm and the other with two. So you'll grab here, come all the way to this corner, drop down, here's the fun part. Now I'm going to tuck and roll. You'll see here in a second what I mean. So I tuck this in and we already got one side wanting to flop up. Now I'm going to use my head and body to kind of grab it, bring this over, and this back end's already wanting to come up by this point. So we tuck, yeah. hang on, there. I know I had to use a little bit of my arm, I'm, I'm sorry, I failed you all, I apologize. One arm, folding it up. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it with two. This makes it a little easier for me, sometimes, we'll see. We always want to make sure that when we do fold it up, see how it's got the split? You can't see all the way of the arch. This is not the best way. Can it be done? Yes. But I always find it easier if I can see the whole back. So I'll grab both ends, fold it like a taco, and it's already wanting to just give anyway. And that's it. See how easy that is? So ladies and gentlemen, this is the two room pop-up Observatory Tent by Explore Scientific. I hope you guys have clear skies. Keep looking up.